then Jackson and I are just waking up. One of us is more up than the other. Did a kickboxing workout this morning. I just had my water with lemon, and now I am making a protein yogurt bowl. One of my favorite things to do on Friday afternoons when I'm done with school is swing by Whole Foods on my way home. It's my little treat at the end of the week, and I give myself like a little budget. Like, okay, this is how much I can spend. I go into Whole Foods and I find new fun things because that's what I like to do. And this time I found this new yogurt, the brand Lava. It is a plant-based yogurt, obviously. No sugar added and it's got lots of good live probiotics in it. Sorry, my hand. Oh, that kickboxing kicked my butt. Okay. Just got probably like a little less than a cup of that yogurt. See how thick and creamy it is. I like to add a tablespoon of ground flaxseed and half a scoop of vanilla protein. And I just add a dash or so of unsweetened almond milk. You know, whisk it together. This is something you could definitely make ahead of time. You don't have to wait till the morning to make it and it'll just get thicker and creamier as it sits. But I like to whisk it because then the protein powder really gets incorporated a lot better and you don't have any chunks of protein powder when you're eating. But this protein actually incorporates really well. You'll see as I let that sit, the flaxseed will thicken it up. So I'm just gonna let it sit for like five minutes. lunch now so I'm making a quinoa bowl so I just soaked some quinoa for about 30 minutes I don't always soak it I just thought to do it today it just kind of takes that nutty flavor out of the quinoa and then I rinsed it under cold water that also helps if you can just do a quick rinse on it now I've got it in a pot just simmering for 15 minutes and I'm gonna roast up some vegetables some frozen Brussels sprouts even though Brussels sprouts are in season right now I still find it's so much cheaper to get them frozen so these these are whole Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to cut them in half. I'm also going to do like some slices of some red onion, put it on this parchment paper with avocado oil, salt, oregano. This is like my favorite dried herb to cook with right now. And sorry, it won't focus, but it says oregano, I swear. And then some black pepper. And then I'm also going to top my bowl with some roasted red peppers. Nice, warm, fluffy quinoa, some Brussels sprouts, add some red peppers. I'm going to add some of this mashed cauliflower, little slices of avocado, dollop of pesto right in the middle, and lemon juice. having this monk fruit sweetened chocolate with almonds. I'm not having the whole bar. I'm just having a third of the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys just a quick diet update. As you know, I am plant-based. I have titled a lot of my videos vegan because the recipes in those videos are vegan and a lot of the meals 
most of the meals that I eat are vegan, but I do, when I think about the diet that I identify with, which you don't have to identify with a diet, at all doesn't mean I'm a hundred percent perfect plant-based I give myself some grace when I'm out at restaurants if I'm at a different location eating meals I didn't prepare the food some people ve feel very comfortable to ask questions and brush things to the side if they're not sure what it is for me in my life I think life is too complicated and I know that in my household, I do the very best I can to only bring in food that is cruelty-free, that is nourishing and whole and organic, and the other 15 to 20% of the time, I'm living life. And that's just how it is. So for that reason, I call myself plant-based or like plant-focused, plant-forward, because most of what I'm eating is are plants. <laughs> that being said, right now I am trying to focus on foods that are full of protein, healthy fats, fiber, lots of greens. I'm really focusing on foods that are healing and beneficial for my hormones. So a lot of that means anti-inflammatory foods because I have PCOS and I'm just trying to see like how much I'm in control over managing my symptoms. Lots of new things like with stress reduction, I'm meditating either in the morning or in the evening, doing a lot more low impact style workouts. I'm hoping to give you guys a hormone health update. In the meantime, I'm going to eat this bar of chocolate and take Jackson on a walk. And I'll check in with you guys later. I'm not sure if I'll have a snack today. That lunch was pretty big. But we'll see, My that boxing workout this morning. Woo, wow, yeah. But yeah, either I'll see you next for a snack or I'll see you for dinner. I'm also having a snack. <laughs> I'm having half of a little organic uh, Granny Smith apple. The other half I had on my yogurt bowl this morning and just a spoonful of this raw almond butter by the brand Maranatha. I like this brand, it's just one ingredient, just almonds. Making a mushroom bolognese with zucchini noodles for myself. Jack will have regu regular noodles. This is a little bit different bolognese. Normally like a vegan or plant-based bolognese, you make it with like lentils or eggplant or lots of vegetables, but I'm actually going to be using mushrooms and walnuts. Now, if you're nut free, use like a sunflower seed, raw sunflower seeds. They'll get all crumbly and give you that like nice texture, same as walnuts. Um, I just have walnuts and I made it before with walnuts and it worked really well. To make everything in the food processor, I'm gonna use two cups of just brown mushrooms, one cup of walnuts, half a teaspoon of salt, some pepper, one teaspoon of dry oregano, one teaspoon of dry basil, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're just gonna pulse it until it's nice and coarse, kind of like ground meat would be. So there's what it looks like. Now we're gonna make the sauce. So I've got a nonstick skillet, just adding a bit of avocado oil. I use avocado oil when sauteing because it's best for high heat cooking. One chopped yellow or white onion. Salt. Pepper. And we'll just let the onions cook for about five minutes. Now I'm just adding one chopped stalk of celery and some chopped bell pepper. Probably about a cup of chopped bell pepper. I had to turn my light on, it was getting too dark. And now for a little flavor, I'm going to add just about like two teaspoons of tamari or like a soy sauce. Adds that umami flavor, deep salty flavor. And we're going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste. Actually, I think I'm gonna add two tablespoons. 
This just gives it that deep tomato-y flavor that we really want in a bolognese. Instead of having regular noodles, I am going to try out these veggie noodles and these are organic zucchini noodles. Normally I would spiralize or make my own zoodles out of zucchini, but as you can see, these were on sale and normally they're expensive. Um, but since they were on sale, I was like, I'll take convenience <laughs> this time since it's on sale. I hate when veggie noodles are mushy so and like watery and gross. So I'm going to saute these quickly. That's what the instructions um, say to do. They say just saute noodles until al dente, about two to four minutes, or you can have them raw, but I'm not having them raw. I hope you guys enjoyed another what I eat in a day. Sorry, I have a hair in my mouth. This one focused on healthy plant-based meals that are anti-inflammatory and are focused on my hormone health. Give your video requests down in the comments below. Those are my meals for the day and I'm feeling pretty satisfied, feeling pretty good. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by hitting the button down below and like this video if you wanna see more what I eat in a days. Subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already. It's a weekly newsletter that I send out every Wednesday with just four quick wellness tips. With that, I will see you next week for another one. P.S. This sauce is like life changing. Oh my gosh. I think I hit the jackpot on this one. Highly recommend the mushroom and the walnut or sunflower seed. It makes just the best texture. And two, you're getting the crumbly meaty mushroom paired with the fat, like the natural fat and oils from the nuts or the seeds, which would mimic meat, I think the best. So just saying, let me know if you guys try this. Bye.